Okay, this is my derivation of Young's modulus. I have the original Young's modulus here. Y equals the tension force over the area all over the change in length, which is the change in length here, which is how far the spring moves over L, which is the original length, which is here, the original length of the wire itself. And I've drawn this picture, which is A, the whole area, L, the original length. I have change in L here, which is the amount of the length that the spring will stretch. Um, I have a mass drawn hanging from this cubic um, structure here and it's a mass times gravity which is 9.8 that's pulling the weight down to stretch it and I have a little cubic um, guy here drawn with D which is the length of one side um, of the cube. So we can break this down and you have F equals K times S um, which we can convert that into the interatomic springs since we're talking about the interatomic springs inside of here we have some in series and some in parallel. The series ones look like this and um, they weak, weaken the spring constant because they make them stretch more. Um, so because they stretch more you have a weaker spring constant um, because they have to stretch you know a greater amount. And in parallel you have a stronger spring constant because they have to stretch less. They don't have to stretch as much. Um, so we can rewrite this as KW or K wire equals MG, which is this mass here, all over change in L, which is this change in length. And since we're talking about the wires um, the interatomic springs and the wires inside of this cube, uh, we can rewrite it as the numbers in parallel, which I kind of just talked about here. Um, numbers in parallel times Ks, the spring constant, over numbers in series. And I wrote out over here, numbers in parallel, you can think of as a, the area over d squared, because you're talking about this whole A, all of this, over this little d here. Don't know if you can see it drawn. d squared would give you the parallel side by side. Um, number of parallel springs and then number in series would be L length, the original length over D so that would be this L here over D and that would give you the downward in series of these springs so once we rewrite this using these numbers or variables, you get A over D squared times KS all over L over D. And um, one of these Ds are going to cancel and you're going to get A times KS over D times L. And we can set this equal to this 
and you'll get KS equals MG all over change in L times DL times A. And when you convert that back to Young's modulus, which I have written here again, you get D equals YD. And that's the derivation of Young's modulus.